Data Cleaning in Excel Series, Part 1 I have this long list of data. My boss asked me to remove customer ID written in bracket and keep only customer names. For that, first I'll select customer name and ID column. Press Ctrl plus H key. It will open Find and Replace dialog box. In Find, I'll write, open parentheses, then star mark, and then write close parentheses. In Replace, I'll keep it blank. And press Replace All and Close. In just few seconds, I've removed all the data written in bracket. Data Cleaning in Excel Series Part 2 I want to clean this messy dataset of customer names. First, select the column beside it. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus plus sign to add another column. Now, write equals to proper to capitalize the first letter of each word. And then bracket trim to remove extra spaces. Then, select the cell, close the bracket, and press Enter. Fill the formula in cells below. Now, copy and paste it as value. Data Cleaning Series in Excel, Part 3 I have a long list of data, but in between, there are empty cells, which are really annoying. Suppose we want to fill those cells by writing NA. For that, I'll select Entire Data. Now press Ctrl plus G to open, go to Window. Now, click on Special. And then choose Blanks. This selects all the blank cells. Now, type NA and press Enter. But this fills only the active cell. To fill up all the cells together, type NA and press Ctrl plus Enter. And it will be entered in all the cells. You can format those cells as needed. Data Cleaning in Excel Series Part 4 In this long list of data, as you can see, some of the dates are not recognized as valid dates. In the filter drop-down, these dates are also not grouped by year. This makes it difficult for us to analyze the data effectively. To convert these text dates to proper date format, first select the data, go to the Data tab, and click on Text to Columns. Now, click Next twice. In step 3 of 3, select date and choose MDY from the drop-down menu, because the dates are in month to year format. Change the destination cell. And click Finish. The data are now properly formatted as dates. To verify this, check the filter drop-down menu. All the dates should now be grouped correctly by year. Data Cleaning in Excel Series Part 5 We've received a long list of contact numbers from client, and we need to ensure that all numbers are 10 digits in length and there are no non-numeric characters present. We will check it with two functions, LAN and this number. To check both the functions are correct, we will use AND function. Now, first check whether there are 10 digits or not and then whether it is number or not. Now copy this formula in other cells. True indicates that this number is having 10 digits and no non-numeric character is present. Whereas here there are only 9 digits and here one non-numeric character is present. We may accordingly change the data. Data Cleaning in Excel Series Part 6 I have these data where some numbers are bold and have an increased font size. I need to highlight these specific numbers. To do that, select the data. Press Ctrl plus H, click on Options. Now click on this arrow. Select Choose Format from Cells and select one cell. Now in Replace tab, click on Format, select Fill, and select Yellow Color. Now click on Replace All. Now, all the numbers are highlighted in yellow. Data Cleaning in Excel Part 7 I received these CSV data in my Excel file. My boss asked me to clean the data ASAP. To clean this, select the column, go to the Data tab, click on Text to Columns, select Delimited, then click Next. Uncheck Tab and select Other, then type a comma. Click Next, select the destination cell, and click Finish.
Data Cleaning in Excel Part 8 When you receive the data, the order ID numbers might appear too lengthy to view properly in Excel. It can be quite frustrating. To format them correctly, simply select the data, press Ctrl plus 1, navigate to number, and reduce the decimal places to zero. This quick adjustment ensures your order IDs are neatly formatted and easily readable. Data Cleaning in Excel Part 9 I have received data on sales amounts and quantities sold, and I have calculated the average price per unit. However, some cells are showing errors, which prevent any further calculations. To handle these errors, we can use the if error function. Write if error, open parentheses, first argument will be our existing formula. Now write custom output and close the parentheses. And press enter. Now drag this formula down. This will replace all errors in your data with the specified custom output, allowing you to perform further calculations. Data cleaning in Excel part 10. I have received these sales data and need to check for any cells containing formulas. To do this, select the data range. Press Ctrl plus G, click on Special in the Go to Dialog box. Choose Formula. Click OK. I will now highlight these cells to make them stand out and ask my client to update the sales data properly. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to the channel for more Excel tips.